Ho, ho, ho. This is Gary Moore. And relax because you still have 365 shopping days until Christmas. Why don't you lean back now, relax, and enjoy a very special family edition of I've Got a Secret. I've Got a Secret brought to you tonight by Green Whip, the light, delicious topping that won't wilt on your dessert. Green Whip. Now, here is I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. More or less. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to a special I've Got a Secret show. I assume that everyone around the country has finished their Christmas dinner. So, for dessert, let's meet the members of our panel. First, there's Plum Pudding Bill Cullen. And Fruitcake Betsy Palmer. And sitting in for Henry Morgan, who is stuck out in California, we have Sugar Cookie Sam Levinson. <laughs> and, of course, Spice Cake Bess Myers. And that's all. <laughs> now, assorted sugar cookies, you'll be happy to know we're not going to work you very hard tonight. It's Christmas, and besides, we're fortunate in having an extremely talented group of contestants, all of whom are going to perform for us tonight. That's our Christmas present to you. Now, they're all related. Each of these people is related to a famous personality. Your job will be to figure out who their famous relatives are. So if you're all set to go, our first guest is a student at the University of Florida School of Architecture. Happily for us, he also has a marvelous singing voice. He's going to join forces with an equally talented young lady who is a student at St. John's School in Mendham, New Jersey. So if we can open the curtains, please. Here they are singing Whoopee. Every time I hear that march from Lohengrin I am always on the outside looking in Maybe that is why I see the funny side When I see a fellow brother take a bride Weddings make a lot of people sad but if you're not the groom, it's not so bad. Another bride, another Jew, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice. The groom is not. Really killing that he's so willing to, to make, make whoopee. Picture a little love nest down where the roses cling. Picture the same sweet love nest. Think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes, baby. He's so ambitious. But don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, for making whoopee, for making whoopee, for making whoopee. Come down and be seated. That was fine, indeed. Young man, how are you? Now let's find out uh, who these folks are and who their famous relatives are. We'll start with the gentleman to my left. And sir, tell me who your famous relative is. I don't know. Uh, young lady to my right, may I find out who your famous relative is, please? Well, how about that? Now, panel, as a clue, I will tell you that their relatives are not related. By that, I mean that his famous relative is not related to her famous relative. And because there are two of them, I will give you a pretty good clue. His brother is a singer-actor, and her sister has been known to sing and dance and act up a little now and then, too. So let's start at the top with Bill Cullen, please. You can start <clears throat> with either Mr. X or Miss Y. Oh, dear me. Is your brother, the, the gentleman from the University of Florida, is your brother... Currently in television. 
No. Uh, Broadway? No. Currently. When we say it's current and not in television, we mean he does not have a regularly scheduled series. Yes, or appear regularly in a special, I mean. Uh, has he appeared more recently in movies? Yes. He is a singer and a dancer, I think you said, Gary, right? Singer-actor. Singer-actor. All right, we've lost $20. We have 60 to go. We go to a very pleased-looking Betsy Palmer. <laughs> well, it's only because you look so much like your brother, don't you? I don't think so. He doesn't think so. Well, well, how about you, audience? So. Don't well, shout his name. But do you know think he looks like his yeah. brother? Yeah. Here he does. I would say that his brother is Pat Boone. That's right. <laughs> This is Nick Boone, and he said what all brothers say. What did you say? I don't think we look alike. He doesn't either. No brothers can ever feel that they do look alike. Let's go to Sam Levinson now and go to work on, on Miss Y. Thank you. I still say it's Andy Williams' brother. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be okay. I had it so firmly set in my mind. I'm not going to change now. Uh, do I ask the young lady now, since he's established? Yes. Uh, your, would it be your mother we're talking about? No. Sister. Is that <laughs> a sister? Uh, is she uh, what we call a pop singer? Well, I don't believe so. Would you? <laughs> she sings My Ears Pop. I don't know. <laughs> In other words, is there, is there something strange about my singing that, <laughs> that she sings at all? Yes, yeah, she sings. She sings? Yes. Is she an uh, actress, comedian type singer? Yes. All right, we've lost $60, and Beth Meyerson looks very sure of herself. Well, no, Gary, oh, because we all yeah. had breakfast together in Florida, so it isn't yeah. really fair that I guess. Uh, and I bet that yeah. Carol Burnett. Yeah. Carol Burnett's yeah. sister, Christine. Yeah. Absolutely. And Chris will kill me for saying this, but this is Carol Burnett's 16-year-old sister, Christine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. I, I had to say I knew people were wondering. Nick, to get back to you for a moment, you have absolutely a voice that could do exactly the same thing that your brother has done with his. Have you any plans for following a professional singing career? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I want to be an architect, and I hope to be one in about two years. In two years, you get out of the university. That's right. Good lad. There's certainly a great need for him in the country. And Christine, I know everybody asks you all the time, are you going to follow in your nut sister's footsteps? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Show business isn't for me. I'd just like to go on to college and then take it from there. Uh -huh. What are you going to major in in college? History, preferably. Uh-huh. Good. I mean, end up by being a teacher like a Sam Eleven. <laughs> over here. Chris, give my love to Carol. Sure. My regards to Brother Pat. Thank you both very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, panel, our next contestants are a high school student and two very successful businessmen. They have spent the better part of this afternoon preparing a little dance routine, which they will perform for us now. I think that after you have seen them, you will agree with me that although they are not professional dancers, no other dance team in the entire country can match them for sheer courage. <laughs> Here then, making their first farewell appearance, are the Twinkle Toes. Awfully good to see you. <laughs> now we'll find out who has which famous relative. We'll start with Mr. A here. Who is your famous relative, sir? <laughs> and Mr. B to my left, your famous relative. <laughs> and directly behind me, the somewhat younger gentleman. Now, panel, their relatives are related to each other 
professionally. In other words, if you guess the relative, uh, relative of any of them, it will lead you to the other two. Uh, let's start, please, with Sam Levinson. Uh, by that, I understand that, uh, let's say, they are members of, a, of an act in which they've worked together. Could I, that be? Yes. That could be. Uh-huh. Uh, the youngster would not have been in the act, would he? Th this young Yeah, the young man. No, no. No. Uh, is this a professional act that's still in existence? Could I then... I'd... <laughs> All concerned are very much in existence. Now, Sam, let, let yeah, me not lead yeah. you astray. Yeah, These yeah. are three people who frequently appear together, but ah, they do not necessarily all function as a team at all times. Uh -huh. they're, they're, however, uh, aside from the fact that they like each other, there's no blood relationship. That's none. none. Uh-huh. Is it a show? Yes, Sam, finish yeah, your yeah, question. Finish. Is it what? That's no, not important. It may help <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have $20 down, $60 to go, and best you're on. Now, uh, do these three people appear in the same television show? They have, Frequently. on occasion, have they not? On, no, they say not. No. Well, That's would we know, know them more than because they've uh, appeared as a trio in movies? Yes. 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 Are they um, primarily female? Rather no. than... Oh, one of, one of them is primarily female. <laughs> I mean, say two against one. Are there two? Are they, um... I mean, are there more women than there are men? Where? No. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are, they all, are they all women? Are the they last count was about even, I Are think. they all men? They're not all men. Are they all... No. <laughs> but it's, uh, I, mean, I want to find out. All right, ask, ask your, let me ask your question, Beth. <laughs> is one a woman and the other two men? That is absolutely Thank correct. You. $40 down, $40 to go, and I Bill Cullen's see. figuring... Bing I Crosby, have it. Bing Bob Crosby, Hope, Bob Hope, and Dorothy Lamour. And Dorothy Lamour. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Let's play, another, let's play another game. Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, and Dorothy Lamour have just been reunited in a new movie called The Road to Hong Kong. This is the off-Broadway off version of that trio. Now, who do you think is who? Bing Crosby's Bob. Bing, Cro Bing Crosby's... <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he's, his young, he's Bing's younger brother. This is the, he is the brains behind the whole Crosby Enterprise. And that's Bob Hope's younger brother. Bob Hope's brother, Jim. Yeah. His youngest brother. And back here we have... Dorothy's son. That's Dorothy. <laughs> Richley Howard. Richley Howard, who's Dorothy Lamore's son. Richley, you're living down in my neck of the woods now. Good old Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, sir. Have you any plans in uh, going in the show business? Well, a uh, uh, little bit of that Baltimore uh, ham rubs off on me. I guess, I don't know. Somebody's Please been know. feeding him lines. <laughs> I know who he means when he says that Baltimore ham. How about you, Jim? Uh, uh, do you think now after you've started to be a hoofer, you're going to give up all of the real estate and the, and the farm and the ranch? No, I'm afraid not. I'm too busy raising horses. And cows. Contented cows. Contented cows, I beg your pardon. Now we get over here to Everett Crosby. Every, everybody in your family sings. Bob, your nieces, your nephews, everybody sings. How come you have never gone in for a singing career? Where the blue of the night meets the road of the night. Take my advice, gentlemen, stick to your dancing. It's wild. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Jim. With regards to Bob. <laughs> Yes, Bess, was there something you wanted to say? <laughs> Can I leave through the side door or something? <laughs> Actually, this is young, his younger brother. Now then, let us meet our next contestant, please. <laughs> First thing she said to me out of the side of her mouth was, I'm dying, I'm dying. I am. Well, now, before we do anything else, let's show the audience who her famous relative is. Will you whisper it to me, please? <laughs> now, before you get a chance to do any questioning, settle back for a treat, because Mrs. X is going to sing for us, and for real. Now, she has not sung in public for how many years, Mrs. X? 
99 years. 99 years? Not so. I heard her in rehearsal, and she's just fine. Norman Paris will give you an assist. And here we go. The song is Water Boy. Wasn't so bad, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, panel, I'll give you this much of a hint. Mrs. X's famous relative is her son, and Betsy Palmer will start with you. I have to disqualify myself. Because only you know? because, well, I believe, only because I saw someone mouth something to her just before she started to sing. All right, well, uh, that may not be the proper reason for disqualification. We'll find out later. But if you want to disqualify, we'll go to Sam Levitt. I disqualify because I don't know the answer. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, you mustn't trust your instincts. The lady looked just like Risa Stevens when she was singing. Oh, and I said, Risa. I assumed immediately. Oh. Yes, she does, really. She learned, she sang well. So, uh, the, well, now that's out. And now that it's a son, is the son uh, somebody we all know from show business? I think so. We do. Is he uh, a singer? No, but he sings beautifully. <laughs> Sounds more like a grandmother. But <laughs> uh, he doesn't sing professionally. No. Is he an actor? Oh, yes. Is he a television performer? Yes. Uh, would I know him? You... I think so. Oh, I do know him. Personally? Yes. Uh, that I don't Is know. he a comedian? Well. Well, you have your own definition of that. Yes, he's it? a satirist. He's a satirist. <laughs> Which some people confuse with Is he got a show of his own on TV now? Yes. Oh, all right, I guess I was all wrong. There's $20 <laughs> down and $60 to go. Now, let me, clar let me clarify this. Uh, but he ha does have a show of his own of a regional nature. He is also a very important part of a national television show, which is more of a team effort rather than an individual effort. All righty? Now we go, please, to Bess Myers. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, funny, all the time I was thinking it's Bill. Somehow, while you were asking all these questions. I don't know. It was related to Bill Cullen? I, I think Bill would be very proud to claim her. Mm -hmm. He's on television, and he's a part of a television show. Is this a variety show? No. No. Is it a situation comedy show? No. Is it a, um, a news? What? News show? No. A news like show? No. Categorize it uh, it's forty dollars down, forty dollars to go. Right. Betsy now oh, thinks. Well, Bill Cullen right. knows. Betsy Bill. wants to tell me uh, who the lady is whom I have known for many years. Uh, I, I assume that's the reason I'm last. So the reason I left you to last. No, money's no, money's all gone. You, then? No, may I introduce Henry Morgan's mother? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Betsy, 
Jack, you were so yes, sure of yourself you were going yes, to say I something. I was, because that sweet Norman Paris sat there at the, uh, the piano, mm. and he said, all right, go on, Mom. And I, when he mouthed Mom, I thought, Mom. Everybody around here calls Eve Mom. Mom. Yes, this is Mrs. Eve Morgan. She is sweet. And it's too bad that Henry isn't here uh, tonight. Uh, he's stuck out in California. What do you mean, stuck? It's cold in New York. It's Christmas. No. The sun must be shining, so we can... Henry shines wherever he is. Yes. Thank you. What's that? I often wonder, what kind of a kid was Henry? <laughs> You'd be amazed. Oh, I am amazed. <laughs> he was a very quiet child. He'd walk by himself. When did the change take place? Well, this... <laughs> don't, don't pin me down to that. No mother knows. <laughs> <laughs> We all love him. Well, oh, thank you. We all love him indeed, and he must have known that you were going to be a big hit tonight. What do um, you mean? He and his other brother rooked me into this. Well, he and his other brother, Roger, have not only rooked you into this, but they have sent and asked me to see this presented now, a token of their affection. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, they did. Oh, Now, we'll meet our next guest in just a moment, but first, let's watch this. And now, let's meet our final group of contestants. Hi, young gentlemen. Hi. Now, let me tell you this in advance, that in addition to being talented young musicians in their own right, each of these young men also has a famous relative. We're not going to show the audience who it is that each of them is related to. We'll let them try to guess along with the panel. Starting with the young man on base, Bill Cullen, you have one guess and one clue. I'll tell you, his father has claimed to be a singer. But uh, that's his opinion. All no. I know about him is he's six feet four inches tall. Huh? Who, who is six feet four inches his tall? His dad. His dad. Just like him. Looks just Derwood, like him. Derwood Kirby. Yeah. This is his son, Randy, yes. <laughs> Randy, how are you? I'm so tired of looking up at you Kirby's. Gee. <laughs> Uh, he's a budding young actor and is now working as stage manager of the off-Broadway show All in Love, which is a big hit. Now, the gentleman over here to my left on trombone, Betsy, I'll give you one clue. His father is equally well known for his orchestra, his glee club, and his country club in Pennsylvania. Fred Waring, son. Fred Waring, Jr. <laughs> and Fred is majoring in music at Indiana University. Fred, nice to have you here. Thank you. Now, Sam Levinson, you've got it easy. The best clue I can give you for the young man at the piano is that he looks exactly like his father, who also happens to be a pretty good pianist in the modern jazz field himself. It's my son. <laughs> no. 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 A good pianist in the jazz field? Yes. Oh, oh tell him. David uh, Brubeck. He is that like Brubeck's it? son? That's yes, yes, it's Darius Brubeck. My father is, of course, Dave Brubeck, and Darius is a student at Wilton High School. Right, Darius? Yes, sir. Nice mm -hmm. to have you here. Now, this young man is already working with the family act. The clue for the young man, Bess, is that his parents both played the guitar while his mother sings. Uh -huh. Mary, uh, what's her name? Let's call Mary. Mary. <laughs> Let's call him Mary. Ford. Mary Ford. That's right, yes. This is Gene Paul. He does. He already plays drums with his mother and dad in, the, in, in their entertainment. Isn't that right? So now, Gene, if you'll kick off, the boys, have only, they only got together for a little while this afternoon, and they've knocked out some blues together, and it, and it really swings. So, Gene, you kick it off, and we'll go. <laughs>
secret has been brought to you tonight by the light, delicious dessert topping, Green Whip. Another fine product of General Food. The preceding program was pre-recorded. This is John Cannon speaking.